uh, hi sub and whoever else who may be watching this. Um, this is my tutorial just showing um, how I do the end of Guilty Spark. Um, it's pretty consistent for me. I rarely die. And I have a checkpoint right here, um, right before the structure, just so I don't have to do a ton of walking. Um, okay, I guess I'll get right into it. So basically the normal route is to go over here and go left, jump over this rock, go over there. But my way is to go to the right. And I'm going to be going over this rock right here. And this two different rocks can spawn here. A big one or a really small one. The really small one's really simple to jump over, so I don't feel like I need to show that. But this one can be a little bit tricky. Um, I use this right here to do my first jump. You can't uh, jump up on the slant, so I jump right before it, and I crouch. So I jump and crouch, and then I jump and crouch again. On this part you can walk, so you jump and crouch again, and you get over the rock. So you jump crouch, jump crouch. Um, it's not that difficult once you learn it. It might look difficult, but it's not difficult. And basically once you're over that, um, some a few flood might chase chase you, but um, the majority of them won't. So even if you're at low shields, you'll be fine going over that rock. And that's the whole point of it, to lose all these enemies so they don't shoot you. So I'll do that again. The jump is really easy. And then I aim for this uh, big tree right here and I go around it to the right. Um, I, I guess you can make a direct shot to the uh, structure, but I go around to the right and I head for right here just to hide from some flood. But um, the Sentinels should be spawned by then. Um, you should be getting some enemies. Um, pick up a plasma weapon when you get a chance. But if not, uh, you can start taking the sentinels down, and they go down really fast for me. Um, see, they're they're down already, and it's just a lot easier to survive the enemies in this area. I found um, compared to the other area. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, that time. I needed to kill the sentinels, but sometimes you can get lucky and the flood will actually kill them. Um, I'll do this a few more times just to show it more than once. I go around this tree. Yeah, and you don't have to go around that tree. Um, come behind here. The sentinels spawn up there. There's a bunch of flood right here, but it's actually pretty easy. I think on this side, they all have like, no weapons. It's really odd. So it's like, pretty easy to survive. That that might be why this side is so easy to survive. A lot of them spawn with no weapons. So yeah, there's a few that have weapons. But um, a ton of them are melee flood. Uh, I meant to. Stop that before it. So yeah, I'll do this a few more, a few more times. We can pick up a plasma weapon before, obviously, pick it up. It's not gonna hurt you. So yeah, my shields are all the way down. Um, they're all the way down even more, but you shot me. But um, going this way, you basically always get your shield back, as opposed to the other way. Something will spawn over there. Um, 
just start killing some flood. Um, they should gravitate over this way. Put down one. And up. So yeah, all these flood. I like melee flood. Uh, there's a few of weapons, but you, you can see that like they're barely doing any damage for me. And it's really easy to survive for cats. I mean, I have grenades, but I haven't had to use them. A lot of times people have used them out of desperation, so in the other way. Just to um, try to um, get shields bad, kill some blood, get some shields bad. Yeah, I find that straight it helps a lot too. Um, I, I did not get a good example of one taking down Sentinel Gem, so I'm hopefully on the next. I'll do one more um, attempt, and I'll try not to shoot anything like the only flood. Uh, hopefully live and show you how easy it is to live because you don't kill any flood. And I'll show you how um, how soon the sentinels get killed. So hopefully this works out and doesn't backfire on me. Oh, I didn't mean to kill him. Very true. Yeah, I died. Alright, well, obviously during a run, you're not going to, um, be not killing Flood. But I've had cases where literally five seconds after Sentinel spawned, they were killed by the Flood. My mistake that time I have been shooting that one Flood. Let me try to stick air on this corner not shooting it. Sentinel and Austin would just then. I don't see the other one, probably got killed. It's almost dead. And. Did shoot the other one down? Yeah, they did. They shot the other one down, and they basically shot that one down. Um. So. I mean, I, I died once in that hole. Uh, video, and that was because I just wasn't shooting any flood, and I think they probably killed both sentinels, and it was on the timer, and I just died before the timer. Um, so yeah, that that's the uh, strat I use for the last area. Uh, definitely test it out before you do it in a full game run, but it is super consistent, and it's pretty fast too. Um, for some reason, the sentinels gravitate towards you in that area, which makes it easier to kill them. And the flood, for some reason, are really easy to survive. 